Hello everybody. This is Bones. Uh, this is a rare one today. If you notice, you get to see my head again. Uh, somebody uh, on my Steam friends list uh, was shocked to find out that in fact I, I have a bald head. But yes, like a skeleton, like my namesake as Bones, I do indeed have a, uh, a bald head. And can we get a like here for the pug shirt? My daughter got me this. This is I call this shirt the Pug Father. Love it. It is just nothing but pugs. So we are going to finish this game today if it kills us. Which hopefully it does not. Um, I'm very curious as to what has happened here. I like that I was just sitting there waiting for it. That's about where we are with the painting. It's pretty obvious at this point to me that the end is going to be a final look at the wife. But the wife has wished his death. He has apparently lost his damn ever-loving mind. And it's crazy too. I really don't know what to think. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull this open. Uh, so here we are with our curios. I do like the way the designers have done this. I think it's cool because it shows you your game progress in a unique and interesting way. In my eyes, I think so. And we have painted, and now we're going to go out there, and it's going to get scary as hell. Uh, here's somebody who is depressed easily or does not like spooky dooky let's plays. Maybe watch uh, one of the other ones like uh, Wrong World, that series, or like uh, Cattail. I, I mean, I've done a bunch of let's plays, guys. We have like so many videos at this point, so... If this one gets too spooky dooky, check out one of our other ones. But seriously, at least give a little thumbs up for the for the Pug Father shirt, because this thing is highly underrated. Now, he said this last time. I'm going to turn this up a little, like. Oh, God. No. No, 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 no. What have you done? No. And I feel like the wife may be in the end of it. I know where my head's going, and I don't want that to be true. I don't want to say that I feel like the wife killed the daughter. One of them started a fire, I know that. There was a fire that tragically left the wife disfigured. He lost his leg, I believe, during the war is what they hinted at. So he has a prosthetic. Um... Okay, so this is where we were last time, I believe, was starting to play with these things. My life is complete. I literally flushed a toilet in a video game. Nothing happens when you do. It's a puzzle. Am I supposed to get this drain clear? I'm gonna wash these things right out of my head. No. I'm really dating myself now. Uh, so there is the creepy ass lady. I can't really steer him as he's doing this. I can't really, I feel like I can't look much. So I really don't know what I'm supposed to be seeing here. That is her again. Now this is the... This is the, uh, wife. Uh, I don't know, am I just supposed to keep shoving my head under there? It's more supposed to happen? Okay. I think I started on this last time, as a matter of fact I did, and then uh, we we quit it. So this is playing a little catch up guys, so I am sorry for that. I feel like I want to go this way and I just don't have... Is there a snorkel or something I can rig up or use maybe? I don't know. Do I just keep doing this until something happens? I don't... Uh, I will say I feel like this game's direction changed a lot from simple walkie to a little more puzzle based and now at this rate I don't really know what the end result they want is. Oh, oh, there we go, something's going on now. He also seems to have bits of passing out. And I do apologize if I'm talking too much. I try to be one of those YouTubers who doesn't talk over voiceovers, because that drives me nuts. Um, but I don't see a voiceover right now. Oh! 
So some time has passed. And now we have something in the tub. The walls look to have some leaf and that black mold that is everywhere. I believe it is symbolic. I believe it symbolizes sorrow of a sort. Whoa, 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 why? What the fudge is happening here? I do apologize. I think that's actually my mouse doing that. If it is, I will stop it. Finally, someone had to bear witness. I couldn't just look at my own work. Art and the artist needed an audience, a critical eye on things. I knew what I had to do. Did I literally Death just find the last piece? It up like ice cream. Oh, Jesus like Christ. A a monster, but at least there was to come something beautiful from all this. This is fucked up. If I've already found the last piece, then I'm not going to lie to you long. I'm going to be a little disappointed, but um, I expected more. Oh, okay. Well, all right. So what is that in there? I don't believe that is it. I believe there is more to this than that. I also apologize. I don't know what the hell happened with my mouse there. It went flat out crazy for a moment. Let's see what happens if the sink overflows. Uh, I believe the eye is the last piece, maybe. I don't know. But then again, probably not, because I feel like that would make this game... Whoa! I knew it! I knew that was too easy. So maybe this time I gotta get back to the studio on my own with the eye is the last piece. He's holding it! I see that in a little... I can't think there. What in the hell did I just do? I think I have the the darkness down to the on this. Um So impressions of this game overall. I, I've enjoyed it quite a bit. It's been an interesting trip. It's definitely got some real jump moments, but not cheap jump scares, but they are jump scares, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is a jump scare game. But uh what I like that they've done is I like the atmosphere of the game. I think they did a great job with the detail and the eye, the eye, the attention to detail rather. Um, just certain little things, certain things like symbology, metaphorical stuff, uh, the way they've told the story through notes, I think is kind of unique. I mean, I played a lot of horror games, and I watched a lot of horror movies. Anybody that knows me can attest that I usually watch a horror movie at night. Um, so, it takes a lot to put me on edge. There have been a few games during our Let's Plays that have done that. This is one, Witch Hunt is another. Um, speaking of off-camera, um, I shouldn't say I finally beat Earth Creature. And witch hunt, so maybe I'll do a, another let's play of that sometime. Hunting the second one down, I, I basically just spent tons of time killing small creatures, warping back to town, getting skills, etc., 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 etc. I learned when in doubt in this game look up, look down, look all around, you never know. Right now I'm in doubt because I don't see a single door anywhere. Clearly, they want me here. They want me right here. I believe. And the light is literally shining on this thing. Uh, this is a checkers board. I can't seem to move a damn thing, so I don't know why they want me here. I can't seem to affect any of the doors. And please don't tell me I need to go piece hunting for a single effing piece on this entire board, because that is absurd and slightly chaotic. No, I don't think that's what I have to do. Let us see what I have to do. I really don't know, honestly. Uh, I don't actually even know how I got here, to be honest with you. I just, like, I blacked out, and here I am. 
Here I am. That looks like, uh, I can't tell for sure, but it looks like something you would use as an artist to maybe shape paint, maybe, with oil painting. I used to do some oil painting as a hobby, nothing I was great at. The music is appropriately creepy, but again, I'm not feeling the spooks because I don't really know what I'm supposed to be seeing that I'm not seeing. A hint system would have been good right about here. Oh, okay, I can zoom up. Duh! Alright, let's take a look. Maybe something will not fit when I zoom up. Maybe something will not be like the others. I believe I did grab a piece from the board, so is that what I'm looking for? I grabbed a piece from the couch, rather, am I looking to place this somewhere? This is what I mean about these puzzles at this rate, is before they were a little more sensical, now this... I feel like right now I'm literally just clicking on anything. And I'm probably not thinking enough about it, and I do apologize for that. And I'm just uh, eager to find out what the whole story of this game is, because I have been heavily invested in it. And I need to know. I need to know what the hell happened. I need to know the whys and the... I need to know. The deer fans even know. So, back to the board, or up at the light. These seem to be the only two things I can do. I really don't understand what they want from me at this point. But I do not like that I have no other options. That's sort of annoying. Um, nor do I like that I can't even move anything. I feel like that's, you know, give me a hint, give me something to work with. There's a hint of the eyeball, is that what I'm missing here? I'm supposed to peek in all the closets, is something spooky supposed to jump out? I don't, I don't really know where we're going with this. Now, I know lots of YouTubers who have cheated on this game and just flat out used walkthroughs. I'm trying not to do that. What they do is they pause it. Uh, last time I played this, I believe you saw me tell you all about this flat out looking at a walkthrough. I think maybe it's too dark in here. Like, whatever I'm supposed to see, I'm not seeing because my game is too dark. So, uh, we're just going to keep on looking here and hope I find something I can click on, drag, move, or otherwise interact with, because this shit is getting old very fast. Um, I don't really know. God, the, the dog is making me super hot right now. The, the dog is on my lap, and it is getting warm in here with this and the lighting on me. But that happens. That happens. Some videos are like that. So what I'm going to do real quick here, while I have you all right here, this is proof I don't hide it. We're going to look up and find out what in the holy hell I am doing wrong for the last chapter of this, because I am genuinely curious as to what I am doing wrong here. Uh, somebody has last part. Episode 6, that is what I need. Well, I do not know where the hell they are going for any of this, but I have not seen any of this one since. I have literally... Okay.
Yeah, I never would have saw that. I hate to say it, guys. But so basically what we are doing in this is finding pieces. We are piece finding. And I was warned that according to the walkthrough, the reason I am having trouble is because it is insanely hard to see some of these pieces. So therefore, not exactly the fault of yours truly. And some of you may cry foul that I looked this up, but look. I'm not gonna lie to you, almost every one of your favorite YouTubers looks these things up. They just pause it. I do not. So if you find that boring, at least I'm sincere. If nothing else. And at least you know, how you see me play the game is exactly how you see me play the game. So, do not fault me for that, my friends. I'm doing my best here. Uh, God, is it dark, eh? Somebody told me I should look around in places like this. That it is so dark that I will have trouble seeing the pieces. So I ask you, my friends, how in the hoop is that fair? This was the first piece right there. So clearly, oh, sorry, buddy. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. The dog. You probably uh, heard the dog down there. There really is a dog on my lap, I'm, I swear. I know one of you in one of the videos claims that he has never been in a video. That is untrue. Both the dog and the cat have been in a video. Unfortunately, we have lost our, uh, our other puppers, so... She has not been in any videos, but uh, she was a sweet girl. I think she might have been in one video, actually. I'm trying to think of it. Ooh, well, there's a little more light in here now, at least, so that's good. Maybe that'll help some. Is that a piece there? No. There's a whispering, you know, it's gotten all whispering, spooky dooky. I don't know why I didn't realize I could actually zoom in this game. I think I just never tried it. I just assumed that this was a clicky clicky to do. That voice is horribly satanic. Okay, if you are easily scared, I do not recommend playing this game right before bedtime. <laughs> Let me put it this way. If you're the sort of person that the mo yeah, that movies like Paranormal Activity uh, if those scare you, I don't recommend you playing this before bed, because clearly that is not going to be on uh, your benefit. Okay, now the creepy spring has stopped. Yes, I apologize, I accidentally talked through it. I thought I was just going to keep going, frankly. I did not know there was an end to that. Oh, there's, there's an... Don't like that at all. Ah. Frickin' all. You kids are the one thing that does creep me out in horror games. Um, there's actually a game that I keep meaning to get and play for you all and do as a full series beyond the sleep. Uh, I just never had the budget for it, so I apologize. There are a few other ones that I'm dying to do for you instead. I don't know if it's the game that's spinning me around like that or if it's just my mouse is losing its shit. So if it's my fault, I apologize. If it's the game's fault, then stop it. It's sneaky. I don't, I don't like this at all. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do Beyond the Sleep for a while now, so... We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Maybe eventually we can pick that puppy up and get it done. Um, we've done a few over the years that we've really enjoyed. Don't get me wrong, while I enjoy doing all of them, there's some that just really, really found a lot of fun and enjoyed them. Somebody did tell me Beyond the Sleep is one of those that I would 
heavily enjoy. I don't know personally. Um, but the idea of playing a game as a toddler sounds like I'm going to get the shit scared out of me. So I'm game. I'm game for it. I'll try it. It's a piece in there. God, why is the up and camera so hard to deal with right now? Is this literally... This can't be my mouse. It's never done this in another game. Now, if this is my mouse, then I do apologize to all of you out there. Because I really do not know. I've never had anything like this happen in another game. I'm clearly looking for one here. You know, it's not there. Uh, that looks like a broken horsey. Is there... There's a baby's bed. We looked in there. I used to have one of those when I was younger that was like Halloween scene. Okay, get me the F away from the spinning ship. I do not like that at all. This voice is certainly crazy. I cannot make out what it's saying. I feel like if I crank this puppy up, I probably could, but then you all wouldn't be able to hear me. Especially since apparently my voice sucks with the mask on. Which, by the way, I like to keep pointing out, not because I'm bitter about it, because it's probably one of the funniest comments I've gotten so far. So, no disrespect to the to the person who said it. You know who you are out there. I uh, I appreciate all criticism, constructive or otherwise. I just found it funny that out of all the criticisms you had, that was where you landed. Oh my God! I do think it's. I think it's as. I think it's the game that does it. I'm actually checking my mouse laser here to make sure it's not that. Um, so kudos to the developers for making me mess with my mouse unnecessarily a bunch. It's a dick move. <laughs> but inventive. I feel like maybe another piece is in here, but I don't know. The game itself keeps wanting me to go to the- Oh, that's creepy now. Three babies on the wall. Would you quit fucking moving me? Jesus. Yes, I just swore at the game. Frustrating at this point. Just slightly, you know. Hold on, something else is happening there. Something else. What? What was that about? I feel like at this point, they're definitely sending a clear message of a broken family, uh, a, a, the death of a child, is at least implied here. And uh, from the artist's ramblings, I can guess he murdered his wife. That's fucked up. There is something creepy about old timey music playing slow, is there not? Not the only one that feels that way, you guys. That spooky dookie to you guys too. Yeah, man, that's, that's scary. I don't like that. I'm enjoying being spooked. But like I said, it doesn't really happen enough for me. For my tastes, I feel like I've gotten jaded over the years with uh, horror movies. And, yeah, I've just seen too many of them. They don't. It's not that I think I'm super tough or anything, it's just after you see a few hundred, you, you know, in your lifetime, or a few, I wouldn't say thousands, but 
I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility to say I've probably seen over at least a thousand horror movies. Um, I mean, I own 500 that are just black and white alone that I've watched every one of, so... You can see what I mean when I say it takes a little more than just your average spooky thing to, to get me going. This game does a good job, though, of getting under your skin. I can't quite place exactly what it is, because I feel like there are a few different things. And I keep returning to this room, because I frankly have no idea where the F I'm going. Um, and that is true. I also feel like somehow I skipped a part of this. Um, maybe I didn't know, but I feel like somehow I jumped ahead. Because I, I remember, and I, again, I'm not going to lie to you, I remember kind of... Alright, I figured out what's doing this now. This is literally a bug, it seems. If you hit that little lamp spinny thing, you spin around for a while and get topsy-turvy until you slow down and then you're alright. Why I did it earlier, I don't know, but that's literally the only thing I can think that's doing it. And if it's not, then again guys, I do apologize, but I don't really know why the hell it would be my mouse. I don't see it being my mouse. Um, I cannot find where I go next, so let us see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I'm not gonna lie to you all. I literally just looked that one up. And I am not ashamed of it. Now apparently this one I have to keep walking around. They say you're supposed to look at things in a specific order. I'll be damned if I even know what that order is. So in the interest of trying not to just cheat my way through the final level, we're just gonna keep walking around and torture or something. And I seem to walk toward the horrible thing. Okay, Satan. So the sculpture has fallen. Is that a piece? No. I feel like. This game is getting more and more twisted as it goes on. I don't think I'll get another piece out of here. And I don't think I'll get another piece out of the doll room because of it. I do not like that. That just feels horribly. Whoa! Uh, that's new. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say I think that that is a rock a baby thing. Get it? The cradle will fall. Oh shit. What was that? What happened there? I don't trust that damn spinny lamp thing. Something happened where that bear painting is in. I think that cradle bow is going to be the next thing, if I have to guess, just because of the nursery room. So let's go check out the record player again. Nothing. Let's go check out this spooky ass thing. Nothing. Let's go check out this spooky ass thing. Nothing. Let's go look at the ceiling. Nothing. Look at this ceiling. Some whispery voices. Now, oh, I hate the spinning thing. I do not like that at all. It's really bad. Again, if it is my match, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill this thing after this game. 
Uh, I guess we'll see. Eh? I am curious. So a chess game is being played out. And I need to find all the pieces, or at least more of the pieces. Why would you mess them up now? I just went and got all that shit back on the board. Come on, man. Some are floating, that's creepy. And that's new. No, I want that on. This game is dark enough already. These I've always liked in homes, and I think they're cool. Oh, God. That's a little nod to an old, old horror movie from the 70s, guys, is it? Maybe 80s, called The Changeling. I used to really like that one. It was pretty damn creepy. Good sort of ghost story of sorts, if you will. Um, I need to be on this side. I feel like this is the artist's side of the board. The other side, the question is, who was dog? Who was, who was watching this? Something's happening down here, I think. Maybe. Getting weird music, so. But you see what I'm saying? This portion of the game, I feel like they could have made a little more intuitive like they did the rest. Um, and again, that's just me. That's my own critique. I'm not saying they did a bad job. I'm just saying I personally feel like... Should I heard something drop? I heard drop. No, 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 no. That's chains in my hearing, maybe? Or the mirror? Okay, I found a piece there. I feel like once I get to an area and I find a piece, I'm not going to find another piece there. Maybe I will, but I don't think I will. I think the developers are clever little fellows, and I do not believe they would be lazy enough to just recycle a scene. Now, change a scene. Yes, we've seen that a few times in this game already. The toilet is not flushing no matter what I do. I don't know why I keep trying to flush a toilet to get all the answers in there. What the... Fudge the girl was that? Turn that stuff a little more. I want to... I want to hear it go. Whoa! Alice in Wonderland, this game is not... I feel like the tea party's gone all wrong. What did Dave Ch Chappelle say in his uh, Rick James tip? The, mil the milk's gone bad, Charlie Murphy. Oh, now we're in the kitchen, and this is a different area. And now, sweet Jesus, tell me that is not what I think that is. But I believe that it's a human brain, actually. And that's completely effed up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Open that shit. Both of these. That seems important to look at. Right, guys? Is that, am I wrong there? Are you shining on a piece? What, what happened there? I'm not going to deny this part does me slightly jumpy. Um, not very, mind you. Not, this is not as bad as, say, uh, the other one was... The other one was... Oh, that's creepy as shit. Come on now. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. What in the hell is happening here? 
Can we just keep raising this up? That one was not open on its own. So let's open all four and see what happens. Also, why are the pictures? Two of them are in pots. One of them is not. One of them is between two flasks. We know the guy himself was an alcoholic. The home looks like it is burning on in a pot. Uh, is that a metaphor, maybe? Oh, grab something there. What did I grab? Morphine, ether. The reason I uh, list those off are back in the day. Some of you already know, but some of you, you may not. Those are very popular Victorian painkillers that were uh, available. It's very possible to me that this could actually have a happy... There's no happy meaning here, let's be honest. Um, it would be interesting if they pulled out a happy ending and said that this guy was just hallucinating. Oh, I get it. Kind of. So I had to... So let's get back to the board now. I knew something was going to change there this time. So I think centers around going back to the board after you start to sell things, and then it keeps changing the room. Uh, this is a very weird set of puzzles because it's not really a puzzle at all, and that is blood. That is a baby carriage. Baby. There is no baby in the carriage. That looks like a horribly evil satanic tree. I'm going to do a little room checking here and just see what else has maybe changed. Can I turn on a light or two, please? Gotta get a little light. Oh, what is this here? Question one, how, the, how do we find the safe code? If at least lit a few lights in here, maybe if we illuminate the room and not a code will appear on the wall somewhere else. Is there anything here? Am I supposed to be looking for a particular metaphorical thing? 219. Could that be the code? I believe it's just a wait. I don't want to read too much into that shit. Some of you right now are kind of screaming at me because you probably know the answers to all this. And to you, I say, calm your shit down. You're watching a Let's Play anyway, right? Um, yeah, I would definitely say this one is a bit all over the place with trying to figure out what in the holy hell I'm doing, but... Who are you even playing with? I feel like at that point, that may be, have been the first gangster letter ever. It sounds like something you'd find in a rap song. Who are you playing with? Who are you even playing with? Oh, it's that creepy baby painting again. And I hate that I know that. Okay, that was up and messed up right there. Let me just say that. Creepy baby gave way to some weird satanic looking skull creature thing. Creepy baby was already a thing creepy, hence the name Creepy Baby. I feel like when you say something's called Creepy Baby, you really don't need to um, extrapolate more than that. It's, it's, it is just what it is. It's Creepy Baby. Because somebody was like, hey, bones, don't go.
What is happening? Holy shit. I promise you all, I'm not moving this. Did we, did we do it? Ladies and gentlemen, let's crank this up a little. I'm curious. Yes, that's it. <laughs> it's beautiful. Perfect. Just like I always imagined. What? What is this? I don't understand. <laughs> no. Stop it. Please. <laughs> so close. This time, I almost had it. It's like he's trying to recreate his wife and heal her through painting, but he can never do it. Yep, so he's, I, I believe he's in hell, and we have been playing him in hell for all the, from what I've gathered, the alcoholism and all the other stuff he's done wrong. Uh, he doesn't seem like he's been the nicest of guys. This is a rather interesting game. The normal portraits of her, which she seems to have had many. Are we going to get more answers, I wonder, here? Because, uh, yeah, you can see that it looks like the fire damage to her face we read about earlier. I just want to point out, too, that the music I like, it's not overdone, it's a little subtle, but it's very pretty, and I feel appropriate at this point. Ah, oh, nice, nice. Well, that's pretty cool, man, that they have done all the credits like this, so the people who have actually worked on this game will get shown like that. So, ladies and gentlemen, this was Layers of Fear in four sessions. I apologize for having to look up a few hints here and there. As I said, let's be honest, every le uh, Let's Play YouTuber does it. I just do it on camera most so that way. It's, it's honest. Uh, man, a lot of people went into making this, actually, which you can kind of tell. I will say I thoroughly uh, enjoyed this game, and there was a lot to it. There's a lot of, uh, he is probably the most American looking one of them, the level designer. Uh, but I feel like, <laughs> look at this dude here, I like how he's got the two puppies he's holding, the two little bulldogs, that's actually a cute touch. Obviously, you know I am a uh, fan of, oh, and this <laughs> the concept artist has drawn himself as the you don't know this pose, this is a classic internet meme, the fisticuffs man. Uh, that is funny, what he has done. And I feel like they have done a beautiful job with the artwork in this. is really something, man. So, kudos to the development team, all of you out there who made this. Quite a good game. Had its moments where it made me jump, and I'm a horror veteran by far. So, to be able to do that, I suppose I should thank you there, uh, Norman Linda, for some of that, too. Um, Q&A testers, QA testers always sink. So, thank you, Barbara Miklas, because, and Jacob uh, Styler, because quality assurance testers are very important. Uh, I have got to be one on a game before, so I know. Not beta tester, a quality assurance tester. I got to be 
to help make sure that everything basically stayed up to the oh hold on a little steam thing wonderful community early access Aww. Well, good on them let's give a let's give a little shout out to the development team for actually having enough to thank all the people who not only made the game in such a cool way, but to think the Steam community is pretty cool too. That's a, that's a nice tip of the hat that you don't normally get. As a player, I'm not going to lie, I didn't buy this game. This was a humble bundle thing. I believe this was like one of their one day free things, or it was a Steam one day free thing. One or the other, I did not pay for this, basically. So I can't say... Um, it just it was on my wish list, actually, to buy, and then it just came up free, so I was like, oh, I'll grab it for the 24 hours, it's free. So that was an interesting thing there. Um, but no, I think it's an interesting way to end the game. So what do I believe happened from the story we have been told? I believe he is in his own personal purgatory. That he is clearly never going to be free of. He's just always haunted by visions of his lady, and this is where he's stuck. He's stuck living his mistakes over and over. His alcoholism, his uh, meanness, his flaws, the things he did not do right, and he can't ever replace them, and in the end, I believe, murdered his wife due to her imperfections, and used his painting to try and get back everything that he couldn't. And for that, I believe he is in hell, and that's my take on it. I don't know. What's your, what's your guys' take on it? Am I right? Do you feel? Any of you have another take on it? I'd love to hear it. Either way, make sure to uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Share us with people. Comment. I know some of you are going to be like, oh, you wuss, you had to look it up. I don't care. Yes, I did. At least I'm honest about it. Um, so, yes. Broken man living in either a broken home or a purgatory. Either a self-made purgatory or purgatory itself. That is the final question that I leave to you, the viewers. Is this a physical real place, or is he reliving hell itself? Uh, is he just drunk and maybe an uh, eager or something? Because, again, I said it's known he's using a prosthetic leg. It probably would cause some decent pain back then, the, the bone saw surgery. They were called saw bones for a reason. They just used a saw and would hop you up on ether painkiller and hope for the best. Or do you believe, as I do, that he is literally in hell itself, in this house? He visits daily and relives us. I think that's a fitting punishment for a man who seems to be a bit of a monster, and who seems to have, oh, I don't know, straight up murdered his loved one. I'm going to go in this corner, because at this rate, I really do think now that it's my mouth. The mouse that has done this. Uh, yes. But anyways, so that I believe that is it for Layers of Fear. Maybe this is not the full ending, but I believe it is. Uh, if it is not, I don't know. But see, you can even see in the parlor there, it looks like that it's a dead wife. A child looking on with her friend. Or a doll. And a broken man clearly laying, or not laying, but sitting over her. So, is he... Is he the murderer? Of course he has to be. If we take that at its word. Uh, I'm curious as to why they're just letting me wander around. Is, it, is there more? Am I going to see more? So I haven't ended the video just yet. I'm curious to see if there is some sort of epilogue type thing here, or if... That was creepy. Or if this is just it, and now we're just going through the motions of 
uh, seeing what's left of the house, which is what I, I believe this is just what's left of the house. When the dog is asleep on my lap now. Ah, this has got to be this effing mouse. I swear to God, I'm going to throw this thing. I do apologize to you all for the spinning. I honestly did not know it was my mouse, but it seems to be. If it is the game again, then kudos to the devs, but uh, I'm beginning to suspect it's just my stupid mouse, so. Sorry! And in the end, we find a man who is just broken. Um, that looks like a boarded up. I'm wondering if maybe there was a child's room there at some point. But anyways, hope you have enjoyed watching this. I certainly enjoyed playing it. Although end credits and all that would be good, so that I know 110% I beat it. I feel like I beat it. No, watch. I'm gonna end the series, and someone's gonna be like, "You didn't beat it. You didn't go through this door." That's why I keep looking around real quick, just in case. Just in case. On the off chance, slow as it may be, that that is what's supposed to happen, as I am supposed to be going somewhere I have not gone. I don't know where that would be, but just in case that's what happens, I want to make sure I have left two things. And again, if you like physics-based games, I do highly recommend the Penumbra series. It's dirt cheap now. I recommend... Uh, Amnesia, the first one. I haven't got around to playing the second, though I own it. Um, the first one, uh, I haven't played in years. I actually don't remember much of it, so... If I get enough of you requesting it, then I will do a series of um, Amnesia as well. How about that? But uh, that requires enough of you to actually talk, reply, you know, that whole, that whole interaction thing, the comments and the likes and the sharing and all that good stuff, so you all do that, and we'll see what else I can do about uh, maybe adding Amnesia to the Let's Play. I have a few other ones already in mind. Um, for you all that I think you guys are going to really enjoy, that I hope you will, anyway. Um, as I said, I like doing a mix. One I feel bad about doing, because you can't even buy it anymore, but I feel like it never got enough credit and deserves to be done. Oh, no, I found a key here. So before I go, we are going to at least do this. And can we please get a little appreciation? For the developers, and I will tell you why here. The man has a prosthetic leg, and all throughout the game he has limped. So I think that is clever work on their part. Um, now again, have I beat this game? I don't know. I think so, but I have not heard any ending, but no weird crap has gone on since his realization of the painting thing. So I don't really know. I honestly don't. I don't know if this is just like a weird epilogue where you can just wander around. I don't know if that's what's going on here, if I have actually beat it. But if I don't get anywhere else soon, then I'm just going to go ahead and count it as, yes, I beat it. And if I'm wrong, then you all can let me know. Um, we have found the child's nursery, so I was wrong earlier. This is where that is. I feel like that one locked door there is the final room in the game that I'm going to need to go in. So right now we're just looking for a key to it. Um, I feel like this whole game we have seen the game through the eyes of a man in sadness, a broken man, a man who is very, very mournful of his actions 
And the big question was, what were his actions? And the answer is, clearly murder. I believe murder. I believe he actually did kill the wife. Um, or... I don't know, dude. I believe he killed the wife. If I am wrong, then that is one hell of a reaching metaphor to say that he is paying for what he hoped the wife would still look like and didn't. And maybe it's a disappointment thing, but I think that's reaching. I think he killed her and tried to basically bring her back to life with his art in a way, like Frankenstein's monster and it never works and he's just always in a cycle of remorse and regret with it. Um, so I don't know. Well, I suppose the only thing to do at this point is to check one last time here if I can find it in the guide and see what happens. That's all you need to know. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. The last level here. If I have not done this correctly, then I do apologize, everybody. Uh, but I believe, anyway, that I have beat this. So I'm looking to see what people say about this. Um, but yeah. From what I can see here, I have officially beat the game, so there's nothing left. So, we're going to end it here. Let me know your theories on it. If I have not beat the game, let me know, and I'll do, I guess, part five. And even if it's a short epilogue, then we'll talk more about horror itself. Uh, if you liked it, let me know. If you didn't like it, still let me know. Uh, comment below, like, and share, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And goodbye from me, Bones. Goodbye from the dog. Say bye bye. Bye bye. He's sleepy. Look at his little face. Tell them subscribe. You don't want to lift the dog down, do you? Look at his cute little face. Subscribe. Did <laughs> you hear him? He's like, Alright. He's tired. He's going back to bed. Alright. Uh, so thank you for watching. You guys have a great day.